Scooby-Doo is one of those franchises that's been around since the dawn of time, right next to Batman and Super Mario Bros. In fact, pretty sure when God created Adam there was a television set playing nothing but Scooby-Doo waiting for him. And so, because of its immense popularity, it was only a matter of time before it would receive the cinematic treatment. And thankfully, our prayers were answered in 2002 with the release of Scooby-Doo the movie. So no, contrary to popular belief the live-action CGI cartoon animal genre was not started by Alvin and the Chipmunks, but instead by this movie, so thanks for nothing. I don't really have much to say so let's just jump into the movie. After all, why bother stalling when it'll only prolong the inevitable? Scooby-Doo starts with a bopping pop remix of the original theme song. Now, I'm more of a rock and roll metal kind of guy. But hey, I'm not here to complain. Wait a minute, that's all I'm here to do. We get jettisoned straight into the third act of a typical Scooby-Doo episode, which is odd, shouldn't this be at the end of the movie? No actually, this entire sequence is just here for us to get to know the characters. We got Fred, the cocky leader of the group, Velma, the smart dorky girl, Daphne, the hot one, Shaggy, the best of the group, and Scooby, the CG puppet that is totally their guys, I mean it looks so real. And sadly yes, this is the best visual effect in the movie. We even get a random celebrity appearance thrown into the mix, because why not? However, it seems the group is starting to get sick of each other. Hey, my glasses! Who's helpless now? I'm going to kill you, Daphne! Whoa, whoa, whoa! What's the ascot? This movie makes it really easier to hate everyone but Shaggy. I quit. No way! Maybe I quit. No way! We cut to two years later, where our boy Shaggy and his pal Scooby are confronted by this guy from Spooky Island. Oh, we don't go near any place with spooky, haunted, forbidden, or creepy in the name. Well, hydrochronic? Right, or hydroclonic, but that's for a whole different reason, man. What? What are you implying, Shaggy? And now the gang's back together. I'm not talking to you guys. Kind of. Not fair. I was gonna solve a mystery all by myself for the first time ever. How are you gonna save yourself when you get caught? They're gonna solve the mystery just not as a team. I'm sure nothing will go wrong. What? What even is this movie? We'll be a team again, just like the old days. So come on, gang. Let's do that thing where we all put our hands in, we lift them up, and we go... Only if Fred and Velma do it. are watching Shag. Man, this movie just manages to make our main characters more and more unlikable. Except for you Shaggy. I like Shaggy. They finally board the plane where we get introduced to another of our main characters, Mary Jane. Like that is my favorite name. Really? Yeah. Fun fact, in an older draft of the film Shaggy was supposed to be a stoner. Yeah, this is starting to make sense now. They finally arrive at Spooky Island where they meet the unsuspecting guy who runs the whole place, Emil Mondavarius. I'm sure he will totally not be in any evil or associated with the evil scheme that is taking place at Spooky Island. So the gang goes off to look for the red herrings, I mean the suspects, like this one guy, this voodoo guy, and I'm sure a couple others, I don't know. They go to this castle thing and to be honest it has some pretty good set design, but it's really only there to pad the running time and doesn't give us any new clues. It's another useless farce and the only thing it contributes to the plot is this Illuminati pyramid that doesn't even play an important role in the story until the very end, where it ends up in the hands of the bad guys, so what even was the point of all this? Shaggy and Scooby also have a farting and burping contest with this legendary meme. Are you challenging me? But yeah, again, not very important. While Velma is doing some random smart things, this random guy comes up to her and tricks her into spouting some exposition about the most hated Scooby-Doo character. Stand a chance with me. Let me at him. Oh, rock him. Oh, suck him. Scrappy, for the thousandth time, there's no such thing as ghosts. I'm sure this totally out of nowhere exposition dump will never ever come back to play later. Nope, not at all. Oh, and they just dropped him on the side of the road. Okay. Yeah, that was my favorite episode of Scooby Doo 2. Scooby puts Scrappy up for adaption. Unfortunately for everyone else, but fortunately for the audience, an army of PS1 demons attack. Seriously these guys look like they're from an asylum movie, and kidnap Fred and Velma. After calling the Coast Guard the group sleeps on the beach which is going to get sand everywhere but let's just ignore that, and see that everyone has turned into a Smash Mouth music video. 
Sadly, the early 2000s must come to an end as it turns out these are actually the demons taking over the bodies of the tourists so they can stay out of the sunlight. We get honestly a pretty fun chase scene where it's revealed that the OC do not steal character is actually a demon just like the rest of them. This leads to the overplayed friendship breakup thing they do all the time in these movie but don't worry, it only lasts a few seconds before Scooby gets kidnapped. Shaggy the Chad jumps down after his friend without a second thought and comes across the well of souls from Hercules. This is where things get really weird. Hey, I can look at myself naked. Stop. Red keeps touching me. Stop. Thankfully, everyone gets to their bodies quickly and the plot can chug along. They head to the voodoo guy's place where they regroup and, oh look, is it time for the heroic speech already? Oh, and yes, the evil guy was Emil Mondavarius, obviously. But wait, there's one more twist this movie wants to pull off. Puppy power! Yeah, who would have guessed? I mean, I thought it was pretty obvious but I'm sure the five-year-olds in the audience were really shocked. So they fight the big bad, take him down, arrest him, all that jazz, and that wraps up Scooby-Doo 2002. This movie was fun. It stinks of early 2000s and to be honest, that's what I needed in 2021. Plus, Shaggy was amazing, as if we had any doubt that he would be. They also nailed Scooby in my opinion, but all the other characters were just so unlikable. It's definitely not a good movie, but it's an enjoyably dumb mess. That's all I got for you folks, I know this was a shorter video but I just needed to get something out. Subscribe, like, all that jazz, and I'll see you guys next time.